the Mirror, the Star and Mars. On Tuesday the 23rd of June, I found a pair of knickers in my hoodie pocket. They were my girlfriends. She was outside doing her own thing. When I went to the shop, I stopped in to look at the day's papers. When I got home, I checked up what I had seen and found a little surprise. A Mars rover by the name of Curiosity had sent images back from space where a pyramid appeared to be jutting out from the red rock surface. This bit of orbiting information appeared to me to tie up so many things. It begins with Euclid. It takes in materials of social commentary, psychogeographical representation and the routine embarrassment of mortal living. It takes as its characters a couple who while on a trip from England walked into the shop at the same time as I did. On the walk home there is the encounter of two old ladies talking on the street. All that is heard is the part of the conversation which outlines only that there is an other. In the walk, a lone suspect for this title is seen walking up a hill away from the quiet street. He wears a red cap and a jacket on a warm day but he looks cool for his taking a look at the summer river which leads down to the right. In reference to who knows what, these two ladies chat idly as I walk past. One says, the human rights thing is a coddle. They should be sent. It is at this point that my passing marks a distance and what is said remains indecipherable. What is shared takes a friendly tone, I think, about all of the people who have been attempting to make their way onto European soil. There was also a young black girl who climbed into a monster at the supermarket where the shop was open to all. The old couple from England who looked for their papers from home were handed a mirror by me. I found it hiding beneath a star. Both were Irish versions of an English owned tabloid. The young girl only makes a brief appearance on her way to the mechanic play toy. Careful only that she make it all the way across the open floor of the shopping centre. On this same day, the broadsheet paper spoke of a psychoanalytic report taken in 1994 in which a former priest and since convicted sex criminal confessed to up to 100 cases of his criminal activity. In the same day it was reported that up to 100 pairs of knickers were stolen over a three year period by a lone male suspect in faraway China. Again, on the same day an Irish model is shown wearing something she recently might have worn under her wedding dress. This image can be found inside on page such and such. The man in the image pictured directly below apparently tried to steal and failing that then forced his victim to undress and hand over her niggers was on the same day sentenced to 18 months in prison. Did no one ever tell these guys about Craigslist where girls are willing to part with their private things albeit for a modest fee? Perhaps the last guy liked the thought of his victim's fear being expressed. Perhaps he was just like all the rest. In reference to the man who stole underwear from the clothesline of countless Chinese women, the paper reported how police believe the real number of victims is probably far larger. Euclid's geometry predicates a god who could have given such reason beyond the examples known to the police. Meanwhile, the Pope himself released a statement only a week previous, warning of global climate disaster and the fallout of human casualty, vulnerability and poverty. It's not yet clear what all this means.